Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm excited to share my experience with the Bouger V Yuma 200 watt solar panels. I've been testing them out and I think you'll be interested to hear what I found. So let's start with the unboxing. I ordered the pre-punched version and it was super easy to set up. The panel's unique design allows it to be mounted on various surfaces, especially those that are uneven, such as boats, RVs and field setups. Let me show you the panel up close. It's significantly larger than a normal 200 watt solar panel, but what really surprised me is how thin and light it is. Even though it's big, I had no trouble handling it by myself. As you can see, I installed two panels on top of this gazebo canopy. I didn't adjust for the optimal angle towards the sun, and that was intentional. I wanted to mimic what it might be like to attach these to an RV or yacht, where you can't always get the perfect angle. The panel's design is meant to harness sunlight efficiently on such unconventional surfaces, making the most of otherwise lost energy opportunities. Now let's talk about performance. In near overhead sunlight conditions, a single Bouger V 200 watt panel generated around 190 watts, which I think is quite impressive. When I connected two panels, the power reached up to 380 watts. And check this out, even on rainy days, they still manage to produce around 20 to 30 watts. Not bad at all, right? I tested these panels during the summer in the Northeast, and I'm quite satisfied with their power outputs. In conclusion, the Bug of Yuma 200 watt solar panels are a promising option if you're looking to install them on unconventional surfaces or in situations where you can't always achieve the optimal angle toward the sun. They're easy to set up, light enough to handle by yourself and perform well under a variety of conditions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.